Hello, my name's Roger Dakin. For about eight years, my wife Kathy and I have gone to Ridge Point. I was born in a Christian home. I mean, we went to church whenever the doors were open, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. I went to church camp. And everything went along really, really smooth until, you know, I, I started getting into my junior high and high school years and I started running with the wrong crowd. I didn't do, you know, a lot of drinking and drugs for a long, long time, but I did. And that pushed me further and further away from the Lord. Uh, it caused a lot of problems in my life. Uh, and I finally got to where once I got on the fire department, that was a huge benefit to me because it was something I actually decided I really like this. This is something I want to do. And I was on the fire department for only three and a half years when I got hurt. On November 1st of 1989 at 229 in the afternoon, we got an alarm for a grass fire at Jeep's motocross track. And so I stopped the truck and got out. And as I walked down the truck, I went down into the ditch, coming back to the back end of the truck, a lady in a baby blue Ford Tempo driving 55 miles an hour, pinned me between the front of her car and the back engine too. It moved a 26,000 pound truck, 22 feet. There I am laying on the, on the roadway and uh, they packaged me and put me on the helicopter. And I told Kathy, you know, when I first got on, if I get hurt on the fire department and they call you, that means I'm hurt and I'm okay, or gonna be okay. But if they come and knock on your door, it's, it's not good. Well, she got the knock on the door. And when they came into the trauma center, uh, I told her that I'd had better days and then they pretty much took me straight into surgery. My first surgery was 13 hours. They tried to save my right leg and they couldn't. So four hours after that, they took me in and they took my right leg off. During my first surgery, um, I died for four and a half minutes. I had made a promise, kind of one of them foxhole conversion kind of promises, that, Lord, if you let me live through this, I'll walk the straight and narrow. I promise I'll change my ways. And, you know, uh, after having a doctor tell me that I was gone for four and a half minutes, uh, I thought maybe this is a promise I ought to keep. Over the years that I was not going to church or having anything to do with the Lord, uh, I felt the Holy Spirit like tugging at my sleeve. Every so often I'd feel this, you know, Roger, I need you to turn around. I've got something I want you to do and you're not doing it. And I just, oh, I got all the time in the world. I got all the time in the world. I can, I can do this later. So I had this accident that the Lord made me start completely over. And I don't believe that God throws cars at people. That's not what I'm saying. Please don't take that as what I'm saying. But God allows bad things to happen to people. And sometimes bad things happen to people and you think, well, what in the world did they do to deserve this? That person did not have this coming, blah, blah, blah. I think God sometimes lets bad things happen to people because he needs other people to see how they can handle it. God knew that he had something for me to do and he knew I didn't need my legs to do it. So for the next eight years, I taught uh, from about eighth grade up through 12th grade at all that at, at Sunday school for, for kids. And that may be the best time I've ever had in my life. And I'm thinking, you know, if I had not had such a horrible accident, I wouldn't be even talking to these kids. I wouldn't be in the same room with these kids. I had a fellow one time tell me, he said, oh, you've got the best attitude of anybody I ever met. I wished I had your attitude. And I said, well, thank you, but I think I'm going to need it. And I just trying to be funny, but I, I told him later, he, he went to our church, and I told him later, I said, this isn't my attitude. This is, this is God's attitude. I, if you'd have known me before my accident, it's, it's not the attitude that I've had all of my life. God changed me that day. He didn't just make me shorter. He changed the inside of me. He changed my heart. He changed my way of thinking. And I'm here to tell you, for 34 years, He has given me the strength to handle this. You're not alone. God's always with you. He's never going to leave you. And it's sad that it took an accident like this for me to actually realize that.